In this video, I'm going to show you the best quick snap passing concept in Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the Detroit Lions playbook. We've been talking in the last several videos about how to build the best gun tight offense in Madden 23, as it is one of the primary metas that we're seeing uh, come out of the Madden 23 season. And you can actually apply a lot of the concepts into your preparation for Madden 24. Now, we're the Detroit Lions playbook. If you want to get my entire Detroit gun tight offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description. But we're talking today about what I believe to be the best quick hike money play in Madden this year. And it is the play PA slot cross out of the gun tight formation. So what we're going to be doing here is uh, literally just putting the left side receiver on a corner route and snapping the ball as fast as possible. And you have a lot of different options um, against man to man and zone. Now that corner route on the right um, can sometimes be a little bit random, but the best route on the play against man coverage is really this crossing route over the middle of the field, as you can see right there. Now we know that corner routes are really good against a man coverage meta, especially this year. So what you're gonna see is on both sides, these corner routes will typically be able to get separation to the sideline, and that's where you're gonna basically be able to attack man-to-man -man coverage. Now, if your opponent is consistently calling a lot of man coverage, there is an alternate setup that I'm gonna show you in just a second, but this route to the right side, what you wanna do is when he cuts to the outside, you just wanna freeform that to the sideline. A lot of times he'll get that animation just like that, and that can beat man-to-man -man as well. Now, what makes this play also really valuable is what it can do specifically against uh, any kind of baseline press cover four, if you put this guy on the left side on the corner, even if you don't, this uh, little seam streak right here, a lot of times if you freeform that up and back uh, to the back to the middle of the field, that, that guy can get over the top of cover four. It can also beat match coverage really well. Um, so here we won't do the hot rod, but I'll just show you. So again, you're just going to freeform and you're going to highball it basically up and over the top. And a lot of times that guy can get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity and potentially get over the top of a cover four defense. One of the big reasons why uh, this formation is so good is because of what that tight end can do in the middle of the field. Now, again, you still have everything else that you are already throwing. Um, there, gonna, you got to uh, when you throw that route to the tight end, you have to freeform and highball it. Otherwise, it will basically be underthrown. So what you wanna do is hold left trigger and LB, and then you wanna just kind of throw it into the void. And if he, you know, if you get a situation like that, sometimes the ball just go right over the top of him, really no harm, no foul, uh, but it can be a really advantageous play. Now, another thing that you can do is if they are running a lot of man coverage, it's a great setup. You're gonna put the tight end on a post and you're gonna streak the left side receiver. So what you have now is you're gonna have even more ways to beat man coverage consistently. And this creates kind of a makeshift uh, slant post style of concept. What you'll see is again, this route to Harold Carmichael is super consistent at being able to attack man to man coverage. And then now what you've done is you've taken that streak and you've made that into essentially a man beater um, over the middle of the field. I got to put that left side receiver on a streak. If you put the left side receiver on a corner route, um, that technically can work and I'll show you why. So you'll see here, this corner route will basically run himself out of the play. And then you would throw that in the numbers area of the field, just like that. So you do have that opportunity as well. Now, another cool setup, and again, these are pretty much all one or two high routes or less, is this slant route to um, the, the left side receiver. So one of my favorite things to do, let's say we want to run this play and we run the, want to run this more as like a sail concept to the right side. You would want to have your tight to the right side of the field, okay? And really important here, you want to put your tight end on a fade and then you want to slant the left side receiver. So it looks like this. You got to put him on a fade. What will happen is he'll clear out all the zones and then you're just going to want to get this guy in a kind of almost an ag catch style on the sideline that will get him over the top of cover three, cover four or not over top, but basically it will suck the outside defenders deep. And then you can throw this underneath against those coverages. So here's cover four. You see same kind of idea over there on the sideline. Now, another benefit to this type of setup is what it can also do against a double Mabel coverage, which a lot of people are going to right now, trying to double Mabel. This corner route's pretty unique in the way that it runs. And a lot of times what will happen is this corner route, you can freeform that upfield and it can get over the top of the cover too, just like that. Even if it's a, even if it's a traditional 35 style cloud flat Mabel coverage um, over on that side. So there's a lot of different variations um, in terms of you know how you can run an offense like this 
the slant route's really good because basically if they don't have a flat zone over here on the left side, as soon as he cuts inside, he's going to get open pretty consistently against man. So you're just continuing to give yourself a lot of different man beaters on this play. And we're running this play in a lot of different directions depending on, you know, kind of what they're doing coverage-wise, what they're doing with their coverage concepts. This um, this deep fade route to the tight end, you have to have the tight end on the wide side of the field to be able to throw this. Now, if you think this through a little bit, what a lot of people like to do, and I'll get to match coverage in just a second, they like to bring their safeties down. If you're playing somebody that likes to bring their safeties down, then you have a really good shot at being able to hit this tight end over the top. So you'll see right here, because he's going to get on top of the safeties. You're going to freeform high ball up and right, just like that. If they have KOs, they have KOs. But um, as you can see, it kind of gets the ball into like a real soft spot against the coverage. Now, what about match coverage? So if they do run match coverage, um, typically this tight end is going to get kind of a glitchy separation, just like that, where he kind of runs right by him. And then you can hit this over the top for a one play touchdown if they're running match coverage. Now, what most people do, if they're running match coverage, um, they will maybe do something like this. They're gonna maybe half that left side of the screen. If they do that, this becomes a really valuable play. You'll see here again, here it is. We're just gonna basically free form him, high ball him to space, and try to get him an opportunity to make a one-on-one -on -one play. So this play is super versatile. Um, if you're getting more of that double Mabel style of cover two, this is also still really good. So now we're going to go with, um, you know, you can leave Casper, just put him on a streak, mm -hmm. right? And then kind of do something like this. If they're in a double Mabel, so they're not in a cover three, but a double Mabel, look how deep this uh, corner round gets. Gets way over a 30 yard cloud. So this is a very versatile, quick snap money play out of tight that can really cause a lot of problems for how people are going to want to try to stop you when running this formation. It's kind of a, slant post shallow cross and a um and a uh sail concept all in one play uh and even a verticals play depending on how you want to set it up so this is how i like to run a couple different ways to run pa slot cross out of gun tight and how to use it to make your tight offense significantly better if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook head down to the description and click the link down below for just 10 bucks you'll get access to everything all of our offensive and defensive ebooks all of our updates those ebooks everything um, so that you can prepare for man 24 and finish man 23 out strong you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below